Hi there, this is Craig Mack, the Stop Drinking Expert. Welcome to my video blog today. I just want to deal with, um, it's quite an often quoted statement from people who feel threatened by my books, by my website, by the intention of other people to stop drinking. Drinkers can often be very threatened when someone in their group decides they're going to stop drinking. Uh, the reason for that is it's, uh, it highlights what they know is true. And so it's, it's, it's a truth that a lot of people don't want to be made aware of. It's a, quite a raw nerve. And so when you stop drinking, your new high standards uh, highlights the low standards of the other people in the group, and this causes them pain. And as humans, we move, you know, we're motivated by two things, pleasure and pain. We move away from pain and towards pleasure. And this is how we control our lives. Everything we do is pretty much centered around these two emotions. And so you, you've, you've introduced some pain into their lives, and they want to get away from that. And there's two ways to do that. They can stop drinking, or they can get you drinking again. And you know which one they want to do, yeah? So, uh, was a, quite an often statement uh, from defensive drinkers is, if alcohol was that bad, it would be banned by the government. But it's not. It's completely legal, so therefore, it's safe. This is not true. And let me explain why. Because it, it makes some quite erroneous assumptions. It assumes that the government has our best interests at heart. I'm really sorry to break this news to you, but it doesn't. The government has to balance the books. And I can't speak for the United States or any other country, but I can tell you in the United Kingdom, the taxation on alcohol and the taxation on the alcohol industry brings in 30 billion pounds per year, about $50 billion per year into the exchequer. Uh, that's, a, that's a big amount of money. And that means that the alcohol industry, the big players, have a say in government policy. They're, you know, they, they're, they're powerful people. They're bringing in 30 billion pounds worth of revenue. So the government asks representatives from the alcohol industry to contribute to government guidelines on drinking, which is crazy. It's like having the fox guard the hen house. The alcohol industry is having a say on what is healthy for us to be doing with drinking. It's insane. But a few years ago, there was some quite extensive research done. And the, the research suggested from medical professionals around the world that the price of alcohol should be increased significantly and people should drink a lot less. So the, the price should go up, so it should push it out of the reach of younger people. And, and the general advice was that it, people should drink less and they should be more aware of the damage it does. And, it does. and one of the suggestions was that they, they put cigarette-style warning labels on bottles of alcohol. Things like alcohol kills, alcohol causes high blood pressure, alcohol causes fatal liver cirrhosis, and so on and so on. But because the alcohol industry has such power over government and policy, they managed to bury this suggestion. And instead, they suggested a meaningless, pointless compromise. And that compromise was this, and you'll see it in the UK, if you look on bottles of alcohol, they're in tiny, tiny font. There is a little bit of warning that says, drink responsibly, and a link to a website drink responsibly. That is, that is the compromise the alcohol drinks industry agreed to. It's pointless. And let me tell you why. It doesn't work for anyone. Because if you're a heavy drinker, if you are addicted to alcohol, you couldn't drink responsibly even if you wanted to. All right? That's why when you go to the doctor and say, doctor, I think I'm drinking too much. What do they say to you? They say, well, drink less. Oh, thank you. They, yeah, that really helps. Thank you, doctor. I'll just go and do that now, shall I? How do you do that? That, that's the big problem. So drink responsibly. That's, you might as well say anything. It might, that might as well be Greek to someone who's got a drink problem. They don't know how to drink responsible. It's crazy. To someone who's not drinking heavily, the message is an irrelevance. They look at it and go, yeah, I am. So what? So it doesn't mean they won't in the future go a bit crazy with alcohol, but they just look at it and go, I am. So this is a pointless message. The alcohol industry are happy to print this on their bottles because they know it doesn't make any difference. So, when people say to you, if alcohol was really bad for you, the government would ban it, bear this in mind. A. The government is not interested in your well-being. B. The alcohol industry is so big, so powerful, it is not going to let the government protect you, even if it wanted to. Alcohol is a dangerous drug. It kills hundreds of thousands of people every year. 
It wants to kill you and it will do its best if you continue drinking. If you're ready to deal with this situation, please visit the website. There's lots of advice and other videos like this there to help you out. StopDrinkingExpert.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Craig Beck.